State Senator Rachel May's nursing home bill finally getting the governor's signature. That law, effective immediately, will allow more visitors into nursing homes. We want to get right to it with the senator joining us with more on the new law and what it means for residents and their families. Senator May, thanks so much for being here. Oh, my pleasure. Good to see you. It is good to see you and good to hear this because throughout the pandemic, we heard the stories of isolation and loneliness inside of nursing homes. If you could please outline a few key points of the legislation that's going to help change that. Right. So this bill sets up a system where residents of nursing homes can designate up to two people as their personal care uh, givers and that they can then visit roughly on the same conditions that in which staff get into nursing homes so they have essentially a new right to have visitors even in difficult times of course the department of health can can decide that things are too bad that there's too much spread of a virus or some other emergency in a facility but in general this is a new right for the residents which is pretty exciting because so many have been have been really suffering from isolation for the last year and what did you hear that made you say we have to do this now this cannot wait I've been hearing probably since June from people who were just beside themselves, hearing that their loved ones in the nursing homes were not speaking, were not eating, were depressed, were experiencing rapid cognitive decline. People who couldn't connect by, say, FaceTime because the people just re refused and insisted that their family members didn't care about them and weren't coming in to see them. So it's been brutal. And then also some people who had, say, a mother who went in for rehab after surgery and then developed a, an infection or something. And the staff were too overwhelmed with the virus to figure out what was wrong. And these, their loved ones felt like if they could have been in there, they could have intervened much earlier and saved lives or, or long-term illness. So it really was not just a matter of people needing the attention or needing to be able to see their loved ones, but really of life and death. Life and death. It's heartbreaking to hear that. One of the things that the pandemic has shown us is just how broken our long-term care system is. P nursing homes are not the ideal setting for most people who need that kind of care, and there are experiments going on with really different kinds of care where it's more home-like where it would be a smaller facility with permanent staff. Um, there are lots of different things about home care. If people can stay in their homes longer and age at home with dignity, that's what a lot of people want to do. But the home care workforce is in crisis in New York State. So figuring out how we pay people, how we recruit people, how we retain workers, how we make sure that all the different options are there for people as they age is a big issue and i think uh, this task force would include people from lots of different perspectives on how what is working elsewhere in the world and how we can replicate that in new york state right uh, you know we haven't heard much about the controversy over the cuomo administration's handling of nursing home deaths any update on the investigation by the state attorney general no, that is really behind closed doors at this point. I don't have any insights into that. Right. Uh, um, do you expect a decision soon? We were hearing a few months, so I think probably not right away, but there's a lot there to, to be, and it seems like the investigation keeps expanding, so it may take a little bit longer than we thought. All right. And, you know, once again, just to wrap up, allowing personal and compassionate care visitors impacting the health of nursing home residents, it's going to make a huge difference, isn't it? It is, absolutely. Yeah. And I am so happy for the families that will be reunited and so sad for those who lost loved ones and didn't get to have the time with them that they wanted.
All right, Senator Rachel May, we appreciate your time and, and all the work you put into that as well. And thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.